It's no secret, CGI breathed life into Marvel. Without it, the franchise would hardly exist. That being said, we won't deny that the special effects execution keeps fluctuating with every project, or even every scene. Sometimes it's too good, and sometimes downright unbearable. Today, we are proving that by bringing you the 5 best CGI moments in the MCU, complemented with 5 of the worst. Better buckle in, the extremes may give you major whiplash. Starting with the most worst moments, the Chitauri faces in the Avengers. While Iron Man kickstarted the MCU, the Avengers first united Earth's mightiest heroes under one roof. An entire group of superheroes deserved a worthy opponent, and the Chitauri took some portion of that role. Given their frightening job description, the aliens should have been terrifying, right? Don't get us wrong, they did give us the chills, but the fright quickly vanished when they took off their masks in the ending battle. Whatever good job the special effects team did with their armor, it quickly failed at the face design. It was like Picasso drew the body and a kid finished the facial features. Hear this, at first, the Chitari wasn't even supposed to take off the masks, but on a whim, director Joss Whedon decided to shoot a limited range of face features. The lack of time explains why the VFX wasn't up to the mark for them. Overall, the faces just felt too rubbery and artificial. Next up, Ultron redeemed with that spectacular CGI. Thankfully, Avengers 2 did didn't repeat the same mistake. In the age of Ultron, they superbly rendered the main bad guy, making him a villain to remember. Keep in mind that Ultron was just a metal body. One wrong move would have immediately taken us to a bad version of Transformers, or even worse, the disastrous Steppenwolf from DC. But gotta give it to the creative team for making such a unique robot. It was unlike any technical mechanical body we've seen before, and there have been many on the big screen. Weird to say it for a robot Robot, but he fit within humans like a natural. While James Spader made him hair-raising with his chilling voice, the team managed to nail every facial expression, fully supporting the voice acting. That's why calling Ultron one of the most expressive robot villains in the cinema wouldn't be wrong at all. Let's look at another pitfall CGI example, Black Widow Explosions. It was super sad that the much-needed solo stint of Natasha Romanoff came after she was already dead in the main MCU, but what's sadder is the many CGI fails in Black Widow. For such a hyped movie, the poor rendered scenes were a dagger to many fans' hearts. One that disappointed us the most came in the final moments. It was when Nat and Yelena were blasted off of the flying red room in a massive explosion. It would have been such a heart-lurching moment if the special effects were better. Instead, viewers were distracted by how fake the blast looked. Seemed like the actresses were photoshopped in the takes. You could easily tell they were standing before a digital background. Background. Such subpar work is totally unacceptable for a major studio like Marvel. What's more, Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh acted so well, but none of it mattered due to the lame excuse of VFX. Coming up, fake RDJ was so good that we all missed it. Bad CGI scenes hurt more when we see what a studio is actually capable of. For instance, did you know that they put Robert's face on another person's body in Iron Man 3? Neither did we. Turns out the actor got injured while shooting shooting the movie and couldn't act for several weeks. Such a long period would have put a big dent in the schedule, disturbing the release date. Also, what's interesting is that Iron Man 3 had the most armorless scenes in the whole trilogy, so they couldn't just hide him behind the mask. That's why the team brought out their CGI guns and created their own lead. They used facial features and body doubles to reconstruct the face, and voila, it was flawless. Apparently, there are many scenes in the movie that use the fake version. Still, we uncovered the final take using fake Tony as he threw his arc reactor into the ocean. Who knows how many other takes are hiding him? Up next, a worse sight, Bucky falling from the train. Now arriving at another gut-wrenching scene that was destroyed by poor special effects. We know Steve Rogers and Bucky Barnes have always been thick as thieves. Captain America, the first Avenger, showed that bromance to the full extent. So all our hearts almost leaped at our throats when near the movie's ending, Bucky fell off the train. Unfortunately, CGI fell along with him, and it seems Sebastian Stan was just lounging in the air. It was way too 
too hilarious rather than emotional. Only the background kept moving, while Stan looked hilariously stiff. Overall, it really left a foul taste in our mouths. Now for great CGI from the same movie, Skinny Steve Rogers. In stark contrast, young Steve's special effects were insane. They were so good that you constantly wondered, did Chris Evans really lose that much weight? Nope, he didn't. It was all cinematic magic, baby. So how did they do that? Well, the creative team used the same trick they used with Downey. They digitally attached Evans' face to a body double and used that for 5% of the shots. For the rest, they shrunk him and made him totally scrawny. The amazing job then really boosted the comparison to his super serum buff body, making us weak in the knees. Moving on, Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster armor was super underwhelming. Putting the Hulk in armor was a bad, bad move. None of the fans were happy about it, and the fact that Marvel did so poorly made it so much worse. In Infinity War, Bruce couldn't Hulk out, much to everyone's disappointment. So, Stark put him in an upgraded version of the Hulkbuster armor. Like Iron Man, his face was mostly covered in a mask. But that came off when Thor made his thunderous appearance in Wakanda. Banner's face popped out to hype him, and everything went downhill. Forget being hyped, we were shocked at how weird it looked. Felt like Ruffalo's face was floating above the costume. It made the moment so cringy, and we'd rather just forget it. Following with another best moment, young Tony Stark. Thankfully, we have DH Tony in Civil War to wipe away the blues, or shall we say greens? The character appears as part of Iron Man's BARF tech demonstration at MIT. We were shown his significantly younger version in one of a few rare moments with his parents. For this scene, Marvel used the latest age-reversing technology applied to a clean-shaven Robert. The result was impeccable. It felt like they used clips from the star's actual youth. Gotta say the resemblance was uncanny. Finally, the worst CGI award goes to extremist bodies in Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 could have been the best in the trilogy, but its antagonist took away the top spot. Adrian Killian wasn't groovy enough as the bad guy, and his extremist virus is a big reason why. It made people red-hot like iron, but the special effects made them such a sore sight. Even though VFX supervisor Chris Townsend worked his butt off to nail the glowy look, it ultimately looked rubbery. Watchers winced whenever the extremist army came on screen. As the movie's creator, you really don't want that. Adding to the issues, whatever bad boy vibes Killian was trying to exude were reduced to ash due to them. The replacement of the actor's body with a CGI model was painfully obvious. Instances like this badly affect the star's acting. No matter how hard they work, the audience just couldn't digest these visual effects, making it one of the worst CGI attempts in the entire MCU. Last but not least, the Mirror Dimension fight in Doctor Strange was awesome. Ending the video on a great note, we arrive at the Mirror Dimension that totally blew us away. When it comes to CGI, the entire Doctor Strange movie was a work of art. The popping colors, sorcery, and magic felt so real it had us conjuring up portals. But the city-bending special effects in the New York battle with Kaecilius totally takes the cake. Naturally, loads of effort went behind it, making it look jaw-dropping. Not one, or two, or three, but four VFX studios join hands with Marvel to make it a reality. Their smooth execution of buildings toppling over each other and geometric mirror-like pattern details was crazy. In fact, it was right up there with Inception's mad CGI, and everyone knows how legendary they were. The viewers were impressed beyond measure with Doctor Strange, and rightly so. This is peak Marvel CGI and the level they should be aiming for. Unfortunately, with an influx of movies and Disney Plus shows, the special effects have taken quite a hit. Need we remind you of She-Hulk? Even with allegedly overworking its creative team, the studios could not reenact this magic. Let's hope they learn a lesson from their mistakes and work hard to eradicate them. The entire fandom is really looking forward to it. And that's a wrap. Did we miss any best or worst CGI moments from the MCU? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and share button. Subscribe to our channel for more marvelous content just like this. We'll see you in the next one.